okay, before we start with you, I'm just going to hold it up. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. So I saw this leaf. It's a trifoliate leaf, so it's three leaves coming out of the ground. And so I assumed it was a wine cup, and I was right. So I don't know if you can see this little tuber underneath. That's a small one. Normally, they can, a good one will be about the size of a lime. So it is just a nice little potato. So all parts of this plant are edible. The leaves are edible. The flower is edible. The tuber is edible. You roast it up. It's great with squirrel. Um, I'm going to see if I can find some more in a big one. But uh, what triggered it, again, was the shape of the leaf. Can I take one? Is it a mallow? Or is it it's, it's a mallow. One leaf off here. So I'm going to have to gather around here. So it's a trifolate leaf. And again, kind of weirdly lobed, fuzzy. Growing in a circle on the ground. And then each stem goes from the base of the leaf all the way into the ground to the tuber. So each leaf is attached directly to the tuber. That's one variety. It's not for this it will help you identify the exact species yeah uh, is that it right yep, yep, oh, yep. Okay. I think that's one there <laughs> yep, yep. So, um, but they'll be low to the ground they're like open fields sunny fields it's a uh, the name wine cup when it blooms it looks like a, wine cup, a little purple wine glass what's really neat about the wine cup is if you find a field of them Carefully look inside the flowers. Bees like to sleep in them. Mm -hmm. And a sleeping bee is adorable. <laughs> just, you know, taking a rest because it's a long way back to the hive. It's not dead, it's sleeping in the wine cup. So the flower is edible, shake the bee out. <laughs> um, as far as transplanting, if you dig up the wine cup, you've killed it. They do not respond to transplanting. So we're going to eat this one, which will get a little bit. <laughs> no. uh, but yeah, so uh, like some nurseries, ooh, this is right, forward, forward, no forward, there, yeah. There's some good ones too, so if we were to dig that up. Um, but pretty much all year round, the leaves are available, and then the tuber. Once you know an area rich in wine cups, it's good to remember that because it's calories. How, uh, how quickly do they replenish them? They're actually pretty good at it. Um, they, on, the, on my website, I have them listed as rare because they do take several years for the tuber to get big. So one thing when you're harvesting, you want to look for a big rosette. You want to get the mature one, you want to leave the little ones behind. And today I wanted to pull one up for the class. Maybe as we're walking, we'll see some bigger ones. Um, they do sell the seeds so you can reseed an area too with them, or you can seed an area if they don't have them to begin with. But the wine cups, very, very, very good source of calories. When it comes to wild food, vitamins and minerals and antioxidants and medicinal compounds. What's hard is getting calories. Um, to get calories, basically you're limited to tubers, seeds, nuts, and certain plants. So those are usually seasonal and hard to get. Um, just to put things uh, in perspective, this area of Texas, the Native Americans here had what they called second harvest, where there are certain plants, certain berries and so forth that they would eat uh, prickly pear cactus fruit in particular is uh, loaded with seeds. The seeds would pass through the body, the next day they would go through their feces and pull out the seeds and eat them because they were that valuable, because there was that limited amount of calories around. So any source of calories was vital to survival. Thank you for one. <laughs> okay. So, like what you call that? I don't find it. It's not in there. So the, uh, uh, let me say about the book, my book, the publisher wanted it to cover all of North America. The wine cups are just a southern land. So it's not in there, but it is on the Foraging Texas website. A lot more pictures. Yeah. Apparently there are states that, you know, 
other than Texas. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, we wanted to talk about this color. Okay, we'll talk about both. Ooh, this one's perfect. Of wine cups or? No, of the, um, the, uh, the oh, okay. Well, we're here. Okay. All right. Now we're going to discuss.